What's up everybody, Destiny 2 Forsaken is finally here, and with it we have a new public event space, the Tangled Shore. There's going to be two different styles of public events here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do the heroic versions of those. So the first one that you have is the Cryopod Escape. You're going to have a Cryopod that crash lands right here. It could be Cabal, it could be Hive, it could be Fallen. I haven't seen a Vex one yet, that wouldn't make sense, I guess, but so far those are the ones that I've seen. After the pod lands, there's going to be waves of enemies coming down from the ships. You want to take those out. Once you've taken out all those enemies, the cryopod will open and a wanted enemy will appear. You're going to want to do damage to this wanted enemy, but not a ton. You want to kind of take it down, maybe a quarter. And once you've done that, the cryopod is actually going to start sending out this weird cryo energy that's going to make the ground that you're standing on very dangerous. You're going to need to hop around or get to higher ground or get out of there. There are vents on the sides of the cryopod that are spewing this gas. You need to take out the ones that are spewing the gas. And once you do that, an orb of light will appear. Grab the orb and chuck it at the wanted enemy. You can hit it on the ground, around it, you can hit the enemy itself, whatever is fine. I apologize for this bad death here. Again, the ground is very dangerous. After you've thrown two, the gas might disappear, or it might keep going, depending on how much damage you're doing to the boss. Uh, once you've thrown about three of the orbs, four just to be safe, you will start the heroic version of this public event. To complete the heroic version of the public event, you're going to need to stand by the now frozen wanted enemy and guard him for a short while of time from the oncoming onslaught of enemies that are going to be falling down from ships. That about does it for that one. Not too difficult. The ground, again, is a little dangerous, but that's pretty much the hardest part of it. Pretty standard stuff. Alright, so moving on to the second style of public event, we have the Aether Ritual. What's going to be happening here is there's going to be sort of a weird Aether Ritual going on. There's going to be three broken down servitors just around the area, and each one is going to spawn a high level enemy. You need to kill the high level enemy, and then a bunch of Aether is going to come spewing out. When the Aether comes spewing out, you need to shoot it all, before it reaches the center area. Here I am being an idiot and not looking. I'm looking around for something else, but as you can see, when I actually shoot the thing, it does give a little bit of damage to it. I thought I had to shoot the ships. I was wrong. It's, it's just that ether energy. So it doesn't take very many shots to actually take out the ether energy. Uh, pulse rifles are good, fusion rifles are good, you know. Anything that can do high amounts of repetitive damage quickly is probably pretty good. So as you can see here, they took out the enemy, here comes the ether orbs, and there we go, I'm actually taking them out this time. Badly. But we took out most of them, if not all of them, and we have joined the heroic event. So what's going to happen now is that a high level wanted enemy is going to appear. This time we actually got one of the barons. That might be the way it always works, I'm not sure. Normally, if you do not do the heroic version, just a normal yellow bar enemy is going to appear. All you gotta do is take out this big boy, and that's it. You've done it. So those are the new events that you can do on the Forgotten Shore. I hope you enjoy, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe below. Um, and if I see you out there on the Forgotten Shore, and you know how to do this, and you don't do it, I'm very disappointed in you. Good luck out there, Guardian, and I'll see you star side.